Hello Corkies, you've heard the expression that wine gets better with age. Today we're going to tell you whether that's true or not. Yes, specifically with red wine. This is part two of how to store and age your wine. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java. I'm Billy and this is Bryn. And we all know you're supposed to get joy and fascination and even the little things in life that most people take for granted. So here at CorkandJava.com, we're here to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages through wine and coffee, reviews and how-tos. So if that sounds interesting, smash that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell so you're notified when our future videos come out. Okay, so people always ask us, what wine should I buy to age, or how can I store this wine for a long time? Most wine that you actually buy, and we covered this in part one of our how to store and age wine, most wine isn't meant to be aged for very long or stored for a long time. Uh, most of it's ready to be drank right away, and I'll leave a link uh, either at the end of this video or on the blog if you're reading there. Uh, about our video of our seven tips for storing wine. And one of our tips is most wine doesn't need to be stored uh, or aged for very long, but there are a lot of really good benefits to aging red wines uh, for various amounts of time. So the best wine experience is with a wine that's balanced. And what we mean by balanced is it's about equal of um, fruits and tannins and acidity and alcohol. That's right. And sometimes uh, young wine specifically, like, I don't know, the more bolder reds, they'll be really heavy in one of those areas or another. And so the benefit of aging wines for a longer time is sometimes it brings uh, things back into balance that aren't maybe the alcohol is really high or the tannin level is really high. If you uh, age that for a while, it sometimes brings things back into balance and it really helps bring spe specifically young wines back into balance and uh, really get those flavors working together instead of uh, contrasting each other a little bit. Okay, so one factor that is really important to aging is the varietal. So. Um, the grapes that are high in acidity and high in tannins are going to be primo grapes or primo wines rather to age. So I know a lot of the big bold reds are high in acidity and tannins. So you want to just run through a few of them and uh, we could talk about how things will change as you age them. Sure. Sure. So, so what are some characteristics of aging Cabernet Sauvignon, for example? So with Cabernet Sauvignon, you're going to get a lot of variation. So with that, I would look for wines that are deep in color, um, high acidity, balanced alcohol, and um, noticeable tannins. So you can, if you're just in the store, maybe read the back of the label so it can give you a description. You know, look in the glass to, or the bottle to see what color it is, if that helps. Um, that can help you determine whether to age it or not. Yeah, and one of the things, uh, a lot of people buy wine in the case, and if you buy wine by the case, you know, try one right when you get it while it's young, and then store the rest of in the box in uh, your closet, like we recommend somewhere dark. It's not going to fluctuate temperature much. That's going to not be super dry climate, like a refrigerator. Don't, don't store in the refrigerator. As I said before, make sure you're watching our seven tips on storing wine before you try to age and make some of the mistakes that we lay out there. But uh, definitely, uh, yeah, if you're buying a case, let some of it age and drink some of it young and take notes and see how it changes over time. Uh, it, it's a really cool experiment to do. Some of your favorite wines will, you'll notice, get worse over time and some of them really change for the better over time, which is really cool. All right, another great uh, wine to age is Merlot. That's right. Uh, you wouldn't think about it because it's typically a lighter grape than Cabernet Sauvignon, but oftentimes they age just as well or sometimes even better than Cabernet Sauvignon's um, characteristics of aging Merlot. Sometimes it brings a lot of smokiness to it. Think of like 
uh, tobacco, like cigar, uh, pipe tobacco notes in there, even some like campfire notes. Um, and a good place to start is Right Bank Bordeaux. It's uh, typically old world kind of taste, a lot of uh, more dirt and uh, leaves and a lot of less of the fruit notes to it. And as you age it out, it really mellows uh, that out and brings a lot of smokiness to the Right Bank Bordeaux Merlots. All right, so what are some other varietals that are good to age? Yeah, I would look at the Rioja region and get some like Tempranillo because that is a great, one of the best red uh, grapes to age longer term, as well as Sangiovese is a really wonderful grape. Uh, typically young, it'll get a lot of spicy acidity to it. And as you age it, you'll notice it really mellow, mellows out and you'll get kind of some fruity, nutty figs uh, characteristics um, once you age Sangiovese. Okay, so there are always exceptions to the rule. Um, the best thing you can do is just train your palate to notice um, ca these characteristics of the wine. And if you feel like something is out of balance, age it, let it see if it self-corrects and try it from there. Yeah, and here's a chart from uh, Wine Folly. It's another wine blog, and they give basic overviews of the good times to age these standard red grapes. And of course, like Bryn said, there will always be exceptions. So this is kind of just a more rule of thumb than a hard rule chart. But it's a good one to keep in your back pocket if you're looking to age some red wine. All right, guys, make sure that you guys check out the link for the California Wine Club. It's awesome to have wine delivered straight to your door. You don't have to go out, especially in this quarantine coronavirus time that we're living in. No human contact at all. So um, check out the uh, promo that's going on and see if you can get wine delivered straight to your door. All right, guys, leave a comment down below with what wines you're considering aging or what wines have you aged in the past that you've had success with. We'd like to know. Make sure that you guys find us online. We are on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. We're looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time, bottoms, bottoms up. up.